Yo, listen, at the end of the day, and this is what pisses me off. And I have one more comment. It's like, if, if they don't want to be with you, married or not, they're not going to be with you. And if you don't feel secure, single, or and I'm sorry, not single, but boyfriend and girlfriend, that ring is not going to bring you any more security. That makes no sense. What's up, everybody? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Cop of Breakup. Starring... Christian Vieira and Marvin Schultz. That's him. That's me. The number one relationship advice podcast in the world. Soon to be. Yeah. Um, cited by us. <laughs> Look, quoted quoted by ourselves. Right, right. Um, so yeah, this is a coffee breakup quickie. So exclusive to YouTube, at least at this moment. So if you're on YouTube, obviously, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're on social media. Also, please follow uh, TikTok, Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, coffeebreakup.com, That's the it. website. The website, yeah, you got cool. it. Awesome. Nice, good job. So, topic at hand Top, today. Topic of the hand is uh, is marriage and why are women so pressed on getting married, right? So, uh, it's like almost like a, like that, that's so much pressure, like, okay, I have to get married. So what is the, what is the, the rush, right? So, so marriage. marriage. Why, why get married? Why get married? Why get married so quickly? Like, what is the, the, Uh, well i mean i i think i think it so quickly is one thing i think in general is what is the point of marriage and we had an episode with gabe um and he pretty much discusses you know yeah marriage is important to certain people but unless you're religious there's really nothing about it so gabriel was explaining you know how he's he's christian and that for him it's very important because you know traditionally that's everything in his life in, in in his line of you know everyone believe and if it's like family and, sure. stuff like that. and i believe you yourself said that you ultimately do want to get married 100 i do want to get married but I, i feel like there's no and also my guy so maybe that's why but what is the rush right because a lot of but women who's rushing a lot of women are what do you i mean who is who isn't rushing right you people you meet people and it's like that clock is ticking like one year two years putting a time on that i feel like that's a little bit excessive why do we gotta go through these hoops right dating you know marriage or getting engaged and stuff like that Why is it, traditionally speaking, like, are we still there doing that, you know? Well, remember when we had uh, uh, Dr. Heasty here? Mm. You know, he has for me to marry, and I think he shortened it to 12 months. 12 months, yeah. So ultimately, you know, that is a very important uh, you know, time in someone's life, and or I guess milestone, you can say. Um, and for, you know, you can say 12 months is a really fast, you know, it's really short amount of time. Sure. But, you know, with his system in place, you know, if it makes sense then there's really nothing wrong with getting married so fast as long as you know what the hell you're doing. I think the biggest problem is why are you getting married? That's what we have originally discussed, which is are we getting married because of societal pressure? Are we getting married because of maybe you're the only one who isn't married out of your friends group. So now you feel, you know, that, that pressure, sort of, that yeah, sort of pressure, yeah, that external pressure, maybe your entire family as well. And you see, well, maybe I don't have it. Obviously this is very generational. And I think now, I don't really know where the numbers are in marriage at this point. I want to say maybe they're dropping. I think less people are getting married. Um, divorce rates are still the same, by the way. So at the end of the day, it's what is the, why are you getting married? Are you, are you getting into a marriage because you think that you're, you're beating the clock? Well, mm -hmm. I'm getting old. I got to get married. Like I have to do it. Like, or if not now, then never. Take I that think, type of thing, right. yeah, that's where, where I get a little bit concerned because now you take away from the actual beauty of that energy and that chemistry that you have with that partner to develop something mm -hmm. to now force a marriage. Now, obviously, if you do want to get married or you do want to be in a committed relationship, you know, feel secure. I obviously don't believe you need to be married to feel that. I think that there's a lot of other preliminary factors that need to be in place for you, for you to actually feel healthy and happy in a relationship. I don't think marriage is the answer. A lot of people will say, well, you know what? Let's just get married. That's the next step. Like, that's how I can okay, show that, my community that, to you. And that's how it's supposed to be or whatever. Right. If, he, if he's not proposing, then he doesn't really love me as much. And that couldn't be further from the truth, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of people who, who will never propose or they don't want to, but that doesn't mean that they don't love you. And then vice versa. People exactly. propose all the time with maybe the wrong intentions or they think that that's what they want or what they yeah. need. And then it's like, well... Maybe that hap like people think, okay, marriage is going to give me that happiness, right? So, but I feel like marriage is the answer. Marriage, but marriage will never be the answer. And it's like, it's not the end goal. And the biggest fear that I have for people is like, I have to get married. I have to get married. My fear is they get married one day and then I wake up the next in one morning and it's like, bro, this is not it. Is this what, it, is this what it's supposed to be like? Yeah. So my, so here's that one thing. So, um, I know I, 
I have, you know, a very big group of friends, both male, both female, and a lot of them on the, more on the women's side. They're the ones that are more rooting for, well, why don't you want to, you know, be in a relationship? Well, why don't you want to get married? Like, it's always those questions, right? Um, for me, my concern, obviously, there is, you know, why, what is the rush? But ultimately, it's, um, you know, don't sacrifice something good that you have with someone because you're trying to beat the clock to prove what to someone. Um, ultimately, I think that if you have a conversation, you know, with your partner to let them know, like, hey, this is where I'm standing. Like, what's the goal? Because if your goal is to get married, I mean, you even said that's it. one of the first questions that you want to ask. 100%. If, you know, you want to understand yeah. where they are. Obviously, things may change down the line. You never know what can happen. It's a huge risk at that point. But you do want to align yourself with someone who, who does have the same values as you do. Um, but you still got to be careful, bro. I mean, imagine a lot of people they'll rush into it because maybe they'll think that man i'm so caught up in this moment with this person i've never met i've never met someone like this before and then you're like okay let's get married but then when shit hits the fan you're like what the hell was i thinking exactly and then there's the other torn relationships that you think well you know this has happened we've broken up a bunch of times but this time it's for real yeah he proposed to me mm -hmm. so now he's there real. forever yo listen at the end of the day this is what pisses me off and i have one more comment it's like if if they don't want to be with you, married or not, they're not going to be with you. And if you don't feel secure, single, or and I'm sorry, not single, but boyfriend and girlfriend, that ring is not going to bring you any more security. That makes no sense. Well, my last comment. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. One of my one of my friends, she, she, I think she just got divorced. She's recently, she's about to, I forgot. But she's in the process of getting divorced. Maybe by now she's probably divorced already. But, you know, She's 25, I think, 26, you know, mm -hmm. so right around our age. But, you know, she got married a little bit younger, and she thought everything was great. Ultimately, it all went to shit, and they, they're now obviously they're divorcing. But then I asked her, I was like, well, do you want to get married again? Because a lot of women will say, well, my ultimate goal is to get married. And nobody ever goes into getting married thinking I'm going to get divorced. Right. You obviously think, well, if I'm going to get married, it's because I'm going to be with this person for the rest of my life. But if statistics are telling you that it is possible, you know, maybe we should start listening to those statistics. But ultimately, so if your goal is to be married and then maybe it falls into divorce, do you now say, well, if my goal was to be married in a relationship, do you now remarry? And I asked her and she says, no, I never I don't care to get married ever again. People. It Things change people's minds, you know, especially that traumatic experience. But think about it. You know what it is for that to happen for you to be like, man, maybe marriage isn't isn't the real thing. Maybe marriage isn't worth it. It takes a divorce for you to be like, ah, maybe it wasn't. Did it take the divorce or is it also the, the accumulation of growing up and, and getting older and maturing? Because this is my thing, bro. I don't think if you're going to get married and I, I believe in marriage, right? I think it's it, it could be an amazing experience with, with somebody if you do it for the right reason. And if you do it when you're ready, right? I don't think anybody who's under 28, why are you getting married? Like, I, I honestly, I don't, I, bro, because remember when you were 22, 23, how young were you? How dumb were you? All the things that you thought you're going to, you wanted, did you really want that? You grow, you, you mature, you develop, especially us men. And, and a lot of times you don't, we think that this is what we want and then things happen, life happens. And then maybe, Hey, listen, I realize this is not what I want. So for me, in terms of marriage, yeah, ask yourself, why do you want to get married? Is it because you want to get married? Is it because you want to have the fancy ceremony? Is it because your family wants to get married? Is it because everybody in your, uh, in your friend circle is married? So those are the questions that you have to ask yourself. And I feel like if marriage was, if you couldn't get a divorce, if it was uh, permanent and not anybody could just give up and be like, hey, I'm going to get a divorce. If it was that like that. Bro, I think people would think a lot, a lot harder about getting married if it was permanent because a lot of people just easy way out. Okay, I'll get a divorce. How often do people get engaged these days? Two or three times, you know, like, like it's like a speeding content. Um, so ask yourself, why is it that I want to get married? And if it's for a valid reason, 100%. But, you know, make sure, take your time, don't rush it. And, and it's a big step, you know. So, uh, you know, I don't think people who are that young, 22, 23, 24, Bro, live your life. And if, if it happens at 30, if it happens at 40 or whatever, it'll happen. You know, so that is my my take on it. So what about when people um, they can say we'll use the women on this side, you know, their perception of men. They say if a man is over 30 and single with no kids, that's a red flag. That's an argument. And there's also, well, if the woman is also in her 30s and still single. That's also a red flag. Like, how is she not married by now? And I think this comes down to um, traditionalist and um, progressive. 
progressiveness. Pro- progressionalists. Okay. People more that are progressive. You yes. know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so you have the side, what, what, for example, like uh, Kevin Samuels. Yeah. He's always being like, oh, what are you? You got a lot of miles on you. What, what else do you have to offer than pre-owned boozy? <laughs> <laughs> but point is, you know, it's, there's a side that's, that is more traditional where instead of it, we have the balance of, well, it is 50, 50 at, on everything. It's, you know, gender roles. Right. So if we do abide by those gender roles, we can say, well, at the end of the day, if a woman, I don't want to say she's meant to breed, but at the end of the day, you know, she biologically, she can give birth and, and you can say, well, yeah, after you have a, a child, there must be more to life. And there are some women that that is like their purpose. Yeah. And may, yeah. and, and there are men that want that from, from their, their partner. They're like, well, I want you to be a mother to my children. Like, that's what I want. I want to be the one to provide for you. That's, that's my job. So when you have that, then you also have the other side where it says, well, maybe marriage at a younger age, maybe not younger, but maybe, you know, 25 or even 30, Mm -hmm. maybe it is like, Hey, lock, I don't want to say lock it in early, but if you get there earlier, you now have, you you have a relationship to you that you can build where you can have children at at a, at an age that makes sense where it's still healthy for the woman to do so. Okay. So there's that side as well. This is the way I see it. And it's like, if, yeah, you can have kids that. 22 right or 23 but you can also have kids at 32 and at 33 and it, it'll still be healthy right some people are like oh i don't want to be an old mom you wouldn't be an old mom by the time your kid is you know 18 you'll be what 50 52 or whatever you know like 50 it's not old if, if you if, if you think about it from the from the big picture sure if you take a step back and think about it really f- whatever 32 is not an old age to have kids 33 is not an old age to have kids especially in our time yeah, 50 years ago, that was fucking ancient. Yeah. Um, but with technology and things changing, like it's it's more now more possible than ever to have kids at a, at a later age. And I'd rather have kids at 35 with the right person, with the right person than have kids at 25 and three years later be like separated yeah, with the wrong person. Yeah, exactly. With the wrong person and then be separated and then you go through all that shit that we see so many of our, our friends or peers co parenting and all that shit. Child support. And, having kids with different people and all that this is another whole discussion but ultimately <laughs> i i rather wait like i don't have a problem like you know again what like i was saying at, a, at an earlier time what is the rush right if you can and there's no guarantee people will be like oh you can wait till you're 40 and then it could still turn out to be not the right person i i get that but you drastically lower that risk as you are with this person you live with this parent this person and you kind of see who they really are yeah, people make the argument you never know who they are. I get that. But I'd rather wait, you know, two years, three years, four years to know this person than two or three months. You know what I'm saying? I think the bigger topic at hand is, uh, so before, I guess in, in the older days, you know, when you were within your, you know, in your 20s, you were already kind of building, you know, towards a family, towards, uh, you know, either you had a good job, you were, you were already married. I think now we, especially here in Miami, and I could be stereotyping a little bit, but at the end of the day, um, in in Miami, we're kind of, we're using our youth to pretty much enjoy because maybe our parents didn't have the same youth that we have the opportunities to do. Like sure. we can go out, there's so many things to do. There's so many people to meet, the accessibility with social media. Like there's so much that we can do now, but now we're using this time. And I think Kevin Samuels was another one, but I also saw it on another podcast. Like these are the prime years of having children, like where it's the safest, it's the healthiest physically, mm-hmm. you know, where you can do it. There's no issues. And back then you were able to do it. Like there was nothing wrong with that. Um, but you're wasting these years to have your hot girl summer and guys are now wasting these years to say, well, I'm not ready for commitment right now, or maybe they're not financially ready as before. And then we've kind of had a conversation with a lot of men that they say, I want to be able to provide. I want to be in a position, the I right be, position where I'm comfortable no matter what. But sure. so if I, if I know that I'm not fully comfortable in providing for my partner, how am I going to now commit to someone to get married? Obviously the idea is for both of you guys to grow together sure. in a partnership. But, um, you know, but think about it. Cause if, if I was married to someone and, um, we had a child and I know that we both have to be working, who's going to take care of the child. So it wasn't like before where the woman could stay at home yeah. to look after. And I think that's the fear that a lot of men are not having where they're like, if I can't fully provide for you, for you to take care of my son, who will now I got to go hire a daycare or, or now you don't work. Now I'm going to be super pressed for my time. Or maybe I need another job myself to make sure that my, my child is being catered to. So I think that's another thing where, sorry, I think that's another thing where these are the years where maybe it's, it is the smartest time, but we're now taking advantage and saying, 
well, I'm still young. I want to have my fun setting ourselves up for now a later time to get married or even have kids. It's also, there's a lot of pressure. I feel like, and I don't want to keep going on, but I just the last five point, more minutes, five more minutes, five more minutes, the last point. I feel like there's a lot of pressure also for men where it's like society and a lot of women and, and, and social media and, and, and entertainment industry have made us believe like, okay, like the guy is supposed to provide all these things for the woman. And if a lot of men aren't ready for it, it's like, well, the woman's like, where's my ring? Where's my ring? So you have all these expectations. You want me to, to marry you. You want me to give kids to you. And then you want me to p- provide for all of that. If I'm not ready to do so, like, th- I think that could be an incredible amount of uh, pressure, especially for young men, right? Look at us, you know, like we're doing this and we have dreams and we have goals. Imagine bringing another human being into this world and then providing for the child and the, the mother of my 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 kid and then you see it on social media a lot of these so the, these celebrities they're able to do it and it's like indirectly we're like man i want to provide i want to get this call for my woman i want to want my kid to go to a nice school and have a great education have a great health care but we're struggling we, we're that's why it's like i'm not ready but it's like it's a double-edged sword right you know when are you going to be ready but at our age it's it's hard we're still figuring things out we're trying to be successful and when you're trying to provide for family that person telling you, hey, I want to get married, I want to have kids, I want to do all that. It's like, what is it? I can only do one thing at a time. You know, like, you want me to be successful or you want me to bring a uh, family into this world? It's hard to do both, especially in this economy, right? Back in the days, you always say it. I could be a plumber and we, you can stay at home and be comfortable. Um, oh, and no some problem. plumbers make good bread, though. Oh, plumbers do make good bread. No, make no good disrespect money. against plumbers. Plumbers are, yeah. everybody needs a plumber <laughs> in their life. But um, I'm just saying, like, it could be one person working. At a, at a normal job and it'll be fine nowadays bro, I, I can barely afford to live on my own like myself you think i can raise a family like that no so i, I think uh right now generationally uh we're in the we're right in the middle where we don't know what the fuck we're doing nobody knows what the fuck is going on right because before <laughs> us like our parents you know they were able to afford homes they were able yeah. to live here you know if, if they chose to but you know they had more opportunity to do that um, and then you have the, uh, the, the other side where now the younger generation, like they now have, they're so active in social media. They understand crypto and all these other things uh-huh. where they're getting invested, where we're like, wait, do we go into real estate? Cause my parents did, but the new thing is, is, is crypto and all these NFTs and social media. Oh, yeah. So we're right in the middle. We don't know what the hell is going on. Right. That's one thing. So it's like, where do we sway? So yeah, we kind of are still figuring things out because it's like, do I adapt to old times? Do I stick with the old times? Do I adapt to the new times? While the old times are doing the old times, the new times are just doing the new times. There's no confusion yeah, for what yeah. they need to do. Um, one comment that I was going to say before we start wrapping up. Yeah. Um, I think it ultimately depends on also who you marry and, and what kind of person you want to have mm-hmm. a child with. Sure, 100%. Because you do have the side where, you know, maybe it's a mistake. Now, you, you know, you're put in a position where who's going to raise the child, you know? Or are you both going to do it if you're in, both in the position? But also, if you're going to have a child with your partner and the partner says, you know what, like, yeah, I want to have one, you know, I, we can both do this together. I don't mind working or we can figure this out. Like, w- let's let's figure out if we're in a position where if it happens, we can take care of it mm-hmm. rather than maybe a woman that says, well, well I'm having the kid. I'm not going to work. Right. So like, Hello. You put like, look at me. What am I su-? like now? That's a problem. So I started thinking of this girl. I think her name is uh, Brittany Renner. I don't know if you if. I mean, how this all started. I mean, I've, I've heard of her from a while back, but I know that she was dating, um, I think, PJ Washington. If I hope it's that NBA basketball player. And supposedly after the child was born, like three days later, she secretly filed for divorce. And oh, now, yeah? you didn't hear that? Oh, I'm going to see if I can find that. I'll yeah, pop it up here. Like like Dude, it. yeah, supposedly she filed for divorce a couple days later. And now I th- he has to pay like, I think, over a hundred grand a month. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It wasn't too long ago. Huh? So think about it. That could be the person that you impregnate, and that's what you don't want. You got to be selective, man. You have you to know who you're you, who you're getting with. And now we went from marriage to kids. Yeah. But ultimately, at the end of the <laughs> day, right. but you you know that I think the same rules still apply. You have to know who it is that you're going to be getting married to, and what their mindset is, and why they want to do it, rather than just doing it because. And I think also having kids is also very important because you don't want to just have kids with anybody as well. And it's crazy how, oh no, I'm actually not going to go into it. Because I was going to say it's crazy how, I'm not going to go into it, but I am going to go into it. Oh my God, I want to know. <laughs> I'll make a part three. Yeah. Um, people are like, oh, marriage is such a big commitment. I'm not ready. But then they have kids with somebody. And it's like having kids with somebody is a bigger commitment than getting married. Right. Because, bro, you bring another human being in this world. You shape somebody's existence. And then 
existence, other existences to come, right? Because they have kids and stuff like that. So you, sh- you shape history essentially, right? Having kids, it yeah. does. If, it's kind of scary if you think about it, but that's not a big deal. But having getting married is a big deal, like or on the scale. I feel like marriage is not marriage should be here, and then kids is, is I think is the next step right after that because it's a big deal. I mean, having putting kids into this universe is, is a crazy big responsibility. I just wanted to drop that off because you were talking about that uh, chick. Yeah, so we're going to start wrapping it up, but we I have think to, at, the, at the end of the day, know who you're going to get married to and what their intentions are. But remember, at the end... Why? But why? remember, at the end of the day, you won't have a happy marriage because you're married. You're going to have a happy marriage because you're happy in your current relationship. And I think that's what needs to be foundationally figured out first because once that is there... It doesn't matter what happens next, whether it is married or not. If you get that security with your partner, however it may be, whatever you guys believe in, if that's not set up straight, the marriage is not going to fix anything. Nope. 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 It's a good way to end it, right? I like it. Guys, thank you so much for checking this quickie out again. And uh, thank you guys for everything. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Thanks. Ciao, guys.